each other, build organization, and position ourselves to build our own nation. Sounds like so much. Um, Actually, it's rather simple. I can't go to Africa right now. What can I do? Well, if you can't go to Africa right now, um, a lot of our scholars are bringing you information from Africa into your own home. I mean, DVD players, v VHS, tape recorders. I mean, the information is out there. So while you're still trying to save your money to make a trip back to Africa, you can pick up a book, several of the books I've mentioned give you great information on Africa. But, but if, if uh, the scholars are bringing the information here, I mean, what will I miss by not going? Well, you definitely missed the visual, because uh, I've read about 20 books before I went to Africa, and it was easy for me to connect the dots and break every, and understand and understand how I mean, understand the foundation of, the, of, of our civilization and understand why, why we have the problems we have in this country. And I mean, the visual is the most important part, I mean, and definitely have that, you get that spiritual connection with your ancestors, I mean, when you go into, whether a slave dungeon or a temple in Egypt. So how, how do our people treat us? Our people in Africa treat us, it was incredible, they treat, I felt like a king in Africa, I mean, I've never been treated so good in my life, I mean, everybody hugging me, shaking my hand, calling me brother. And this, they treat you with the utmost respect. And if black people in America and other places in the world treat each other like our brothers and sisters treat us in Africa, no one can hold us back. But that's not what I hear. I hear that they don't want us in Africa. You have these ignorant, you have, um, if we keep on believing what our enemies are putting on TV and showing us, because since, since I've been living, I've never seen anything positive on TV about Africa, which, you know, obviously I can't believe that. But I mean, our enemies are obviously going to do things like that. They're going to say negative things about Africa. They're going when, when we go over there, they're going to tell us that uh, African brothers and sisters are going to rob us and vice versa when they come over here. I mean, these are the games that they've been playing since, uh, since they invaded West Africa or, or other parts of Africa. I mean, we need to start listening to each other and stop listening to the propaganda of our enemies because our enemies are not going to give us information that's going to benefit us advancing and taking their power. So when you say enemy, who are you referring to? The enemy is uh, everybody but the black man. Because um, if we can, we can start from whether it's the Asian, the Arabians, or the Europeans. I mean, all of these different races are just sucking the blood out of the black man and black woman and the child. They have all positioned themselves to in our communities to take our wealth and you know they've been they've been getting so much so rich off us they're pretty much they're not trying to give up their position so they are my enemies because they're blocking my way and I will run them over so how do you feel about your own brothers or sisters who exploit our people yeah, I got a new name for them I call them the devil's advocate I mean and if you look at all the revolution, these devil's advocates have been selling, our, selling us out and you know, they're weak because you know, you throw a little money at them and they turn the other way. And just like I was uh, listening to something about Malcolm X who was talking about doing the Chinese revolution, the Chinese started killing the Uncle Toms and since then, China has been one of the strongest nations. So you know, I think we should start, uh, we should start executing these Uncle Toms also and making an example. Because once you get rid of these Uncle Toms, nothing can stop us. So you want to execute Uncle Tom, you want to execute the, the white devil. I mean, does that, make it, does that make it right? I'm with Sister Soldier on this one. Two wrongs don't make it right, but it makes us even. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, do what you got to do. I mean, too long we've been a slave, too long we've been down, and you know, I'm with Malcolm X, I'm willing to do it by any means necessary, I mean, and, and Marcus Garvey said, any sane man who, who wants freedom must first think in terms of blood, because in this battle, there are no bloodless roads. So what would you say to the people who would claim that 
they've achieved their freedom and they they don't they're not struggling and they don't understand where you're coming from because they have their cars and their houses and two and three cars I mean uh, they have everything that that this society says that you should have if you're successful what do you say to them well this is success that once again our enemies is telling us success is and this is also success that's based on an individual basis and you know you have all these people who you think that just because they got a, a big truck, a big house, you no. Know, they got to first of all think that we are, we live under the jurisdiction of another race. You know I mean, we speak their language, we use their currency. And you think about everything that we have or we pay for. All we're doing is when we go to work, all our hard work is used to build their nation and build their wealth. When we buy a house, that money goes to them. Everything we spend our money on, 97% of the times, it's used to make them rich and them wealthy and keep them in power. So how can you be free if you know what I mean how can you be free if you don't have your own or you don't have your own anything? I mean, we're the only people on this planet that our own our land is controlled by somebody else and our own destiny is controlled by others and we are we have gotten on the point where we're controlled by other we are controlled by other nations and we don't have any control of our own lives which is sad and so I mean if you don't have any kind of control I don't see how you can be free it's just that mental slavery just blocking your minds but okay good brother uh, we're about out of time now but before we end I wanted to ask you if you would be going back to Africa if so when yes I'm going July 25th to August 2nd and that's the South Africa South Africa 2004, which will be on Revolutionary Cam, which is a Free Your Mind for Mental Slavery production. All right, my brothers, Hotep, Black Power, Black Unity, Black Nationalism. We coming for you, devils. Run, run, run.